there's a lot of debates about reparations, a lot of conversation about reparations. One of the things I found is when I talk to some of the Democratic Party candidates, they say they like reparations. They say they're down for reparations. But when I scratch underneath the surface even a little bit, what they really want is just some targeted investments to all people in some areas. And sometimes they're not even that targeted. Right. Um, what does reparations look like for you? Is it a check? Is it a what, what, is it, what, what does it look so, like? So I live in California. Right. We just passed. We're working on reparations here in the state of California. Yeah. Um, and some of those ideas that you mentioned have been introduced tax breaks for black people. Right. Um, look, all of that is good. Free education for black people. That's free higher education for black people. That's good. But unless there's a check attached to it, mm. unless it's a check plus, you know, it's not reparations. So reparations needs to start with run me my check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can get to the other things. Uh, there are people who say that check should be for all black people here because we're all impacted by the legacy of slavery uh, and white supremacy, more specifically. Uh, other people say it should only be for the descendants of American slavery. What do you say? I say I don't understand why black people are trying to bl block other black people. Right. I say I'm a pan-Africanist and I think it's extremely um, it's an extremely narrow view to act as if black people from the Caribbean weren't enslaved. It means that they should take a comparative slavery class so they understand. Um, it means that they don't understand what was lost to by, by continental Africans when our foremothers and forefathers were taken from villages, right? Um, and so I believe that we shouldn't be trying to say this is who should get reparations, we should say all black people get reparations. And I, I am a Pan-Africanist and I know that makes some of the um, people in certain groups angry. Oh, yeah. Very I, I, angry. I, I, have, I have Yvette Carnell coming on, I believe on Friday night, we're gonna have a conversation, a special episode of Office Hours. And I know what she would say to you, I believe, and I don't wanna speak for Yvette, but I think what she would say is Caribbean, Americans do deserve reparations and CARICOM is for them. They have their justice claim somewhere else. But the people here in the United States are black people who are descendants of slaves and they exclusively deserve it because they're the ones who built this country. Um, and that that's not divisive. That's just a, that's just the targeted justice claim. Um, and, and, and she would probably push back against your Pan-Africanism. Um, yeah. well, you, you, that doesn't bother you too much. <laughs> no, it, it, it doesn't bother me at all. And I think that what kind of people are we when we trying to block other people from getting, who are our people, other people who are our people from getting what they are also do? Why do, why are we trying to do this? Why, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, if, if the people who owe it want to fight about it, let them fight about it. But it shouldn't be black people trying to block other black people from getting reparations.